Yo, what's good, family? Too Fast 18 back with another Epic 7 content. Um, All right, so <clears throat> I know y'all see that round table, right? Got a lot of new toys, a lot of new toys, a lot of new things happening, but we not here for that, right? This is part two of the Kitty Clarissa review, right? Got my chick built out, you know? I have changed her some since the last time. Uh, I was further testing her out, and I've come to a conclusion how I want her built. But before that, let's do the formalities and go over her skills, right? First skill, I'm so cute meow. This is the cleansing move and also the one that gave loveliness, right? So wiggle still acutely decreasing debuff duration on allies for two turns and granting the cast immunity and loveliness for three turns. Next up. The meow I'm angry, attack all enemies with a morning star while raging with a 60%, 60% chance to decrease buff duration by two turns and make them unhealable for two turns. If the caster is granted loveliness, effect increase up to 20%. You can max that out to 100%. Yeah. Next up is get away meow. <laughs> These names. Text with a morning star. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. If the caster is granted loveliness, triggers dual attack from the ally with the highest attack. This is part of what makes her OP. Her whole kit is OP. But there's a few things I have found out as I was using her in Arena, Guild War, like just further, just further gameplay and just seeing how things are working out. Now, this is since this is part two, so this is a uh, post patch, you know. Patch been out for like a good amount of days now. <laughs> I know I'm late with this video, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So this skill right here, right? When I was testing on Arena, there's something that I've realized. The description says decreasing debuff duration on all allies and granting the caster immunity, right? So when it's talking about decreasing the debuffs, I thought it meant like up to two debuffs you know if it's two turns it'll decrease those two turns of the two debuffs i mean the yeah yeah so i was in arena and i had like a shit ton of like burns on my unit and stuff like that i mean a shit ton like at least four to five right and i did this fucking move to cleanse and because those moves only last for like two or one turn it cleansed the entire fucking thing. Like, there was nothing left on my allies. All of it was just gone. So, yo, this is a full, clean cleanse. As long as the debuffs is not over three turns, which most are not over three turns. This is this chick is cleansing in four fucking turns, my dude. Okay? Full-on cleanse. All right. Next up. This move here. They buffed it, right? So now you can make them, uh, what do you call it? Chance to decrease buff durations on the um, on the enemy. And it's an AOE attack. Now, the, 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 the cool thing is, and I think what they did was they applied this to Kitty Clarissa kit without even mentioning it. What they, what they were doing, what they were changing the artifacts around so that, for example, like um, Sierra Ren, right? Or Abyssal Crown, actually. Abyssal Crown applies, um, what do you call it? Stun, right? So, the, the in the patch, they changed it so that you will do your skill, the move, and then afterwards, the effect of the artifact would take place. It wouldn't take place while attacking. So, somebody's wearing immunity and you're doing a skill to, like, strip it and Abyssal Crown procs during the attack, they won't get fucking stunned. So now that applies afterwards, so you'll get the strip and then a chance for it to proc. So with this right here, it will strip and then have the chance to apply the unhealable for two turns, which is major. That's amazing. You see what I'm saying? They do it at the end of the move. I don't think they mentioned that. If they did, I don't remember reading that shit, bro. But uh, that's a good thing too now, right? Um, so I have her built with uh, 175 speed. And I, what happened was I changed her speed boost because she used to be like 201 or some shit like that, right? The reason I changed it was mainly due to the fact that 
and especially in especially in guild wars um units were like too slow so i was going way before them you know like i said giving players too much respect so because of that i'll either completely waste a turn or i'll do her s3 you know what i mean which you know doesn't help the fact let's say there's a chlory let's say i bring a team of like luna deanne and this chick right and i'm going against like a chlory let's say just the same team right and because this chlory is so slow when she does her d spell on my um luna because this chlory always goes for fucking luna i can't cleanse it because i I was too fast so and my dn is also fast you know my dn is over 200 speed and i didn't want to nerf my dn speed fuck that so i chose to nerf kitty clarissa's speed so that when that fucking chlory goes and put that shit on my uh luna instead of their luna now sniping my luna because she's provoked and shit and i can't cleanse it i go after this chlory cleanse that shit you know what i'm saying and we out there busting ass you feel me so that's why I put her slow. Plus, she scales off HP. So, you know, having more HP is a plus. You know, that that's extra damage you're outputting from her S1 when she teams up. Which, hey, I, I ain't complaining. She. All right. So uh, for the artifact. Funny thing enough, right? I've been doing arena. Your boy been focusing on arena a lot. I, I'll get into that into another video. Why I have been and what I've been doing. But... In arena, I see people with Kitty Clarissa on their defense. So, you know, I was like, I went out there and hit the shit just to see what they're doing. And I'm seeing people rocking that artifact that I was talking about, man. Hold on, where is it? And, like, it's funny because they're rocking Will runes, Will gear on her, and that fucking artifact. Where is it? Four star. Strat gauntlet. People are rocking this shit on her with fucking Will gear man which is od because what's happening is it, it's increasing the chance so you can't even strip the fucking will and you know i couldn't strip it and she was able to cleanse my ml armenta stunt and everything like that shit was crazy i was like yo niggas out here watching the videos they know or they probably just load of it themselves because other than strat gauntlet or i will say candlestick there's not too many like really fucking good um five or four star artifacts you could put out for the warrior like for what clitoris kitty clarissa kit um entails you know what i'm saying so definitely strut gauntlet is probably number one number one and then i'll say a candlestick because when i seen that shit and i couldn't strip her not to mention you can't strip her um you can't strip her fucking uh, main buff to loveliness anyway since the patch. But, you know, she do gains immunity through it. So if you can't strip either one, she's just out there going ham on your team. Freely doing whatever she wants or needs to do to help out her team. Um, for team compositions now, to be honest with you, besides Guild War... Yeah, for, for me, it's going to be Guild War. She's going to mainly be in there for to help out, like I was saying, with the Luna for all those Chloris and people that debuff and shit like that. For Arena, Arena is a whole different league because, you know, I'm higher up in Arena, so people are generally faster. But a good, good all-around team to run her with is, like, tanky teams. Like, you see this nigga Fat Cat? Good person to tag her with. Um, Crow, which I do not have. Crow is very good. Like, the team I went against, they were a tank team. And because she was able to cleanse them and shit like that, and, you know, I already wasted my S3s and shit to, like, do the stuns and burns, and she cleansed all that shit, you know, I ended up getting fucked up by that. It's like, she completely fucked me over because I could not strip her. And that's why I tell you, Strunk Gauntlet is nice on this chick. Now, <clears throat> besides that, you know, a lot of people been asking me as well, where can you use her? besides like pvp right and they want to know which hunts she will work best so uh wait wrong place <laughs> i'm bugging as usual banshee definitely banshee because she can cleanse you could use her in banshee 11 as well banshee 10 that cleanse is 
amazing, man. That's where I would say you would use like candlestick on her. Because, you know, you're going to be getting hit if you get your cooldowns faster because she can have like infinite immunity, basically. You get that cleanse going, you're good to go, man. Uh, the next one is this new hunt here. I haven't even like gone that far into the hunt. Uh, I'm just being lazy because I, I was mainly focusing on Arena. I was mainly focused on Arena, not that I'm being lazy because I got mad new toys. But yeah, the new hunt, the reason so is because she has that strip and that strip is on, let's see. Let's go back to her real quick. How many turns? Three turns, right? Three turns. Pretty fast, especially if you're rocking candlestick, and because I have her built on HP, she is tanking front line, and that shit is coming back faster than a motherfucker. Basically, like two or one turns. You see what I'm saying? So definitely, those two hunts I would recommend that where you can use her. Not so much Golem. There's other units that are good for Golem, like Lydica and Blase Blase. You know, and Wyvern. Come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, she could be used in Wyvern, but because she's like a non-water um, unit, you know, it's going to increase the speed. And the the best person for that in terms of like having a non-water um, unit in Wyvern 11 is Tamarin. Tamarin is a monster, which when she, you know, goes to her idle form, she also helps with the dual attack. Which uh, is pretty fucking crazy. But other than that, um, where else can you use her? I mean, of course, you could use her on like Sparrow Altar. You can use her to farm and shit. It might be a little longer because her animation and shit like that. But eh, she's still good all around. I would say mainly for PvP. For me, at least. For PvP. You put her with some tanky motherfuckers and she's freeing them up from any debuffs and things like that. Y'all out there just successfully countering people, man. Trust me. Because the meta up here is, it is fucking crazy. It's either motherfuckers is dumb fast, right? It's fast as fuck. Or motherfuckers is tanky as fuck. Okay? <laughs> and the best way to deal with tanky shit, if you don't have like ignore defense type units and stuff, is to literally just fucking crowd control them because they're not going to be that fast so crowd control help she will help counter that crowd control man trust me them stuns and shit like that she cleansing all that shit for you so she's a great candidate in pvp trust me i know people don't like doing pvp here and there but if you got her she might change your mind might turn things around for you because it's either people are crazy fast or they are tanky shit and i mean when they tanky i mean they got the artifacts to go with it and uh it, it it's ridiculous man <laughs> it's ridiculous but uh all right let me see so for arena um what happened was i made it to challenger yesterday oh it doesn't even show my highest does it no e does it i don't even know anyway I made it to champion yesterday, and uh, as you can see, they already kicked me out this shit. And you can see an example of these teams even right here, man. That, that that Fortune 10 guy, that's a speed team. This uh, guy right here, a AER with the fucking Harado, that's a fucking speed and an anti-speed team. Like, it, it, it helps um, disrupt Harado's OD, yo. I don't even hit him. He's just too OD. He, he helps, like counter speed teams because when you do like a speed increase move he gains 20 percent so he's there to cut you and strip everything um but like uh so if i was supposed to fight any of these guys it'll probably be this guy right here but you know kitty carissa would she be useful here really and truly not really i mean you can use her but if you have let's say tanky units and stuff like Crow and fucking Crimson Iron Man and you know shit like that, even Kron. Then yeah, it's amazing. But if not, uh, you're not putting her with no speed team and shit like that. It's kind of a waste. You know, you want to be you. You basically want to go second when you're using her in a uh, arena when you up this high, cause motherfuckers is crazy up here, man. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, motherfuckers is crazy. But all right, so. I believe that's mainly it. I think I've covered most of the things. How to utilize her and, uh, oh, I didn't even go over like the, sorry, I didn't go over how to Mulligora her. I mean, with that, with that fucking patch, that Mulligora, it went from being the red shit to just regular Mulligoras. And, you know, we all got like that lump sum back. I had gotten 50. So I immediately put one into her. She only needed one to make this shit four turns. So I don't know if I'm going to do these yet. I'm thinking about it. I just don't know yet. Because I got a lot of new toys happening for me right now. So things are kind of shifting and my focus is also shifting. I'm not going to lie to you. But I still use her in Guild Wars. For the most part. I am going to put her in um, A11. But I think I need to build up my Vildred. Before I even um, approach A11. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So basically that's it for the Kitty Clarissa review. If you, uh, I've already done part one. And this is part two. A post patch. Um, just talking about how she works now. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot. She's amazing in Abyss. There's people that's clearing Abyss 90 with her because of that cleanse you know she's out there putting in work them dual attacks them strips probably not even so much the strips it's mainly just the cleanse and the dual attacks that's amazing i'm gonna start doing a bit soon and um give some details on how i do it as well with her but for the most part i'm just mainly focused on arena right now man <laughs> but um all right that's it for this clitty carissa review uh like comment subscribe if you have any questions just leave it in the comments below all right have a good one guys